Nameless in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna be Friday Night Smackdown before this Saturday and Sunday's WrestleMania. What a ride it's been on the road to WrestleMania. This weekend is the conclusion to the grand finale of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. But tonight, Friday Night Smackdown is live from Long Island, New York, and not one but two major matches already signed for this evening. The World Heavyweight Champion Seth Freakin' Rollins ahead of his match with Drew McIntyre on Saturday night will battle the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy one-on-one -on -one in your main event. Plus, three of the men who represent the tag team division that will battle it out this weekend for the gold. Damian Priest from Raw, Mustafa Ali from SmackDown, and Raw's one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Tommaso Ciampa. A triple threat with momentum on the line coming up later tonight on SmackDown. And here comes the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship this Saturday night in Tampa. The Chosen One, the Scottish Warrior, the winner of the Elimination Chamber matchup, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre had a roller coaster of 2022, but 2023, he's looking to write a new book. Will he become the World Heavyweight Champion this Saturday night? We will find out in Tampa Bay. But tonight he is set for action here on Friday Night SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland. Weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre has waited long and hard for this opportunity, and he gets Seth freaking Rollins one-on-one -on -one in the main event of WrestleMania Saturday, this Saturday night, for the World Heavyweight Championship. Drew McIntyre outlasted five other SmackDown superstars back on January 26th, or excuse me, January 22nd in Anaheim in the Elimination Chamber match to earn his WrestleMania main event. It was just a few weeks ago that he laid out Seth Rollins with a Claymore kick dead center of the ring, sending a message to the champion. Will it be the same result this Saturday night? But McIntyre set to kick us off on SmackDown, both the champion and challenger in action in Long Island tonight. McIntyre one-on-one -on -one with the A-list superstar of Friday nights, The Miz. What a way to kick us off on the final SmackDown before WrestleMania. And his opponent, from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! Well, the grandest stage of them all is coming your way with a double live premiere this weekend, Saturday night, February 25th, and Sunday night, February 26th, 5 p.m. Eastern time, start times on both nights. WrestleMania weekend is almost upon us. It's going to be a great night of action here on the final SmackDown before the show of shows later tonight. The World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins will be in action against Jeff Hardy. We also know that the Cruiserweight Champion Rey Mysterio ahead of his match with Santos Escobar this Saturday will go one-on-one -on -one with Legado Del Fantasma's Raul Mendoza. All that and more coming up here tonight. Long Island, New York is jam-packed and is rocking. Big fight feel here to kick us off on SmackDown with WrestleMania momentum on the line. Here we go, McIntyre not looking to stray the path. He is full steam ahead with momentum already, heading into WrestleMania. Taking the fight to The Miz. We haven't seen an action in a little bit here on SmackDown, but I'm sure The Miz is looking to write a new chapter for himself ahead of WrestleMania. A win for The Miz tonight could certainly put him in line for a future World Championship opportunity. But McIntyre is going to be a hard man to keep down. There may be nobody more motivated to step up to the big fight than Drew McIntyre. 
been well documented the tumultuous 2022 that McIntyre experienced. Failure after failure for the chosen one. In 2023, McIntyre has begun to run anew, winning the Elimination Chamber matchup, and now will fight Seth Rollins on Saturday night for the World Heavyweight title. If McIntyre can win the world title this weekend, he will certainly silence a lot of doubters. Wait a minute, the power bomb is with the shoulder up. McIntyre was WWE champion several years ago, but that took place during the pandemic where there was no audience. There was no pressure from the crowd. Has McIntyre be able to, was he able to thrive under that? The fact that there was less pressure on his shoulders. And is that the reason that McIntyre has failed and failed over and over again in 2022? Was the pressure too much for Drew McIntyre to handle? And now he finds himself back in the main event and it's put up or shut up for the Scottish Warrior this Saturday night. Miz is down and out right now. Drew McIntyre is putting on a showcase. He hopes Seth Rollins is scouting McIntyre one more time before WrestleMania. And again, WrestleMania is coming your way Saturday night, February 25th, Sunday night, February 26th. It'll be a double live premiere weekend, 5 p.m. Eastern time on both nights. It is the grand finale to what has been an amazing year on WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. And we're gonna close out Universe Mode this Saturday and Sunday night, ahead of WWE 2K23. You can see it all right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get back to the action inside of the ring as The Miz with the kick on Drew McIntyre. Couple of those it kicks by the A-list superstar. Now rake in the face of McIntyre, trying to tear him apart here ahead of WrestleMania. McIntyre had an open wound inside the Elimination Chamber. That was several weeks back by now, over, over a month ago. Almost exactly a month ago, I believe, if I'm looking at the date correctly. McIntyre, an active superstar here on SmackDown. You can see McIntyre with long rest. He loves to get in the ring and he loves to fight. And meanwhile, he's got Miz, hesitation on the top rope, letting the blood rush to the head of the A-list superstar, and down he goes. Miz has got to be feeling the punishment from the number one contender tonight on SmackDown. Will The Miz be able to get back into this match? Can't count out Miz, he's a former WWE Champion two times. Former Intercontinental Champion as well. Former WrestleMania main eventer. He's been in the position that Drew McIntyre finds himself in this Saturday night. McIntyre, another stiff headbutt to the dome of The Miz. And Miz off the counter. Wait a minute, it's got McIntyre on the knees here. Look out for The Miz, DDT, dead center of the canvas. And The Miz gonna steal one over Drew McIntyre here in Long Island, not just yet. McIntyre gets the shoulder up and lives to fight another moment in this matchup on SmackDown. The Miz, oh wait a minute, could have been going for the skull crushing finale, but McIntyre is having none of it there. Now Drew McIntyre hoisting The Miz in the air and brings him down to the canvas again. McIntyre is laser focused on WrestleMania. He's got a task ahead of him in The Miz tonight. Wait a minute, Claymore kick, and I think he can find The Miz's brain up in the 300 section of this arena. McIntyre with the victory here in Long Island. And if Drew McIntyre hits that Claymore kick on the World Heavyweight Champion this Saturday night, we could be looking at a new World Heavyweight Champion at WrestleMania. What a win for the number one contender here on SmackDown. And still to come tonight, the world champ Seth Rollins will be in action against Jeff Hardy. Here is your winner, Drew McIntyre. Well, momentum certainly on the side. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. McIntyre, turn around. The world heavyweight champion, Seth Rollins in the ring and a sneak attack on the number one contender. I guess all fair in love and war, McIntyre laid out Rollins with a Claymore kick a few weeks ago to send a message, and Rollins is retaliating here tonight. Ahead of his match with Jeff Hardy later tonight here in Long Island, Seth freaking Rollins is sending a message to the man he will meet in Raymond James Stadium this Saturday night for the World Heavyweight Championship. Falcon Arrow, and down goes McIntyre. Seth Rollins has been operating on an 
an extreme level over the last couple of months. The face of Friday Night SmackDown. Untouchable he has been as the world champion. We'll see him in action later tonight, but come this Sunday, will McIntyre be able to dethrone the visionary? We are back live here on Friday Night SmackDown in Long Island, New York. And Legado Del Fantasma's Raul Mendoza is set for action. This is, of course, ahead of this Saturday night at WrestleMania where Santos Escobar, the Emperor of Lucha Libre, will challenge the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio, one-on-one -on -one for the first time in WWE for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Santos Escobar has targeted the Mysterio family for over a month here on SmackDown. We haven't seen Dominic Mysterio since he was ambushed in the backstage area, not once but twice by Escobar. Rey Mysterio is out for revenge on Saturday, but is also out to successfully defend his Cruiserweight Championship of the World. And here in Long Island, the Cruiserweight Champion has arrived. Ray won that title back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble, dethroning the 180 plus day reign of the one and only Ricochet. Ray has since successfully defended in a Royal Rumble rematch against Ricochet here on SmackDown. And his opponent it is also from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ray. And then has also defended against one half of Los Lotharios, Humberto Carrillo, an incredible matchup over a month ago here on SmackDown as well. But will Rey Mysterio be able to take the anger and aggression he has towards Santos Escobar and mix it with the incredible Lucha Libre talent and successfully retain the Cruiserweight Championship on Saturday night? That is the question we will find out when it's Rey Mysterio versus Santos Escobar for the first time one-on-one -on -one in WWE in Raymond James Stadium, and the title's gonna be on the line. But tonight for Rey Mysterio, it's about building momentum. Raul Mendoza, I'm sure, has got strict orders from the leader of Legado Del Fantasma to do a number on the Cruiserweight Champion tonight. It's risky business for Rey competing in this matchup. Legado Del Fantasma is gonna be out to aid their leader. Rey Mysterio is risking not heading into WrestleMania at 100%. We will find out in due time. Here we go on Friday Night SmackDown, your next contest here in Long Island. Mendoza and the Cruiserweight Champion Rey Mysterio. Mendoza immediately off the kick to the mass. It's your final Friday Night SmackDown before this Saturday and Sunday's WrestleMania. Still to come tonight, a triple threat match. Two Raw superstars in the house ahead of the Dusty Classic and the tag team title matchup on Saturday and Sunday night. Damian Priest from Raw, Tommaso Ciampa from Raw, Mustafa Ali from SmackDown. Triple threat match coming your way in just a few moments. And then later tonight, the man who we just saw ambush Drew McIntyre inside that very squared circle, Seth Rollins one-on-one -on -one with Jeff Hardy. But right now, Rey Mysterio trying to build some momentum, send a message to Santos Escobar. Raul Mendoza trying to make sure Mysterio ain't going in to WrestleMania 100%. You see Joaquin Wilder at ringside trying to take Ray's eye off the ball, and it may have aided him there as Mendoza off the kick in the shooting star press. Take nothing away from the talents of Legado Del Fantasma. They are incredible superstars inside of that ring. Legado just recently competed in the semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Unfortunately for them, coming up short to Ricochet and Mustafa Ali, who will take on Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic on Saturday night. Well, Mendoza working over the arm of the Cruiserweight Champion, trying to pick apart Rey Mysterio limb by limb, take away some of that high-flying, epic Lucha Libre offense out of the Cruiserweight Champion. The Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar, 
I'm sure he's got a keen interest on this matchup. I'm sure he's watching Mendoza, Mendoza do this work right now. I'm sure he's watching Rey Mysterio trying to scout his opponent one last time before WrestleMania. Mendoza whips Mysterio off in a nice arm drag there by one half, or excuse me, one third of Legado del Fantasma, and he follows it up with a Hurricane Rana. Rey Mysterio is down and out right now, and he's out here by himself. No Dominic Mysterio. Again, we haven't seen Dominic for weeks here on SmackDown ever since not only was he ambushed once by Santos Escobar, but then again the following week. And wait a minute, Mysterio. I think we know what's coming. 619. Hit it out of nowhere. Mendoza was rolling, but Rey Mysterio pulled out the ace card. Into the cover. And Rey Mysterio picks up an emphatic victory over Raul Mendoza of Legado del Fantasma. Santos Escobar, I'm sure, is watching with a keen interest. And will he suffer the same fate on Saturday night? Here is your winner, Ray Mysterio. The Cruiserweight Championship is on the line this Saturday at WrestleMania. What a win for Rey Mysterio tonight on SmackDown. Well, WrestleMania weekend kicks off this Saturday night, February 25th, followed up by Sunday night. Both will be 5 p.m. Eastern Time live premieres, and let's take a look at what's to come this Saturday at WrestleMania. The man we just saw in that ring, the Cruiserweight Champion Rey Mysterio, defends the gold against the Emperor of Lucha Libre, Legado del Fantasma's leader, Santos Escobar, one-on-one -on -one for the first time in WWE. It is the finals of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic representing Raw. Ricochet and Mustafa Ali representing SmackDown. Who moves on to Sunday night? An Extreme Rules matchup by two Monday Night Raw superstars, Karrion Cross versus Mr. Pay-Per-View, Rob Van Dam. RVD returns to the grandest stage of them all for the first time since 2007. It is going to be King Kong versus Godzilla for the first time ever. The Nigerian giant Omos versus the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Another first time ever matchup coming your way as the all day Austin Theory takes on the returning American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. The WWE Women's Tag Team Championships are set to be defended, but unfortunately, as announced on Raw, Tegan Knox has gone down with an injury. So who will team with Shotzi as they take on the way? Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. Two of Monday Night Raw's best battle it out for the Intercontinental Championship. Two of the United Kingdom's best, Ilya Dragunov, Pete Dunne, the Invincible versus the Bruiserweight, who leaves the Intercontinental Champion. And in the main event of WrestleMania Saturday, representing Friday Night SmackDown, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre, takes on the visionary, the revolutionary, and most importantly, the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. All that coming your way on Saturday night, and we will run down the Sunday night card in moments here on SmackDown, but we are set for a little triple threat match live from Long Island. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing DIY from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 201 pounds, one half of the world tag team champions, Tommaso Ciampa. A rare appearance by this Monday Night Raw superstar. Although those tag team championships are universal, Tommaso Ciampa arrives on SmackDown for the very first time. And tonight, three men who will battle it out this weekend. First over the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Finals, and then the winners will move on to Sunday night to challenge Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano for the WWE World Tag Team titles. Of course, it was this past Monday night on Raw. Ricochet, SmackDown Zone, went to Raw and walked away with a victory over Johnny Gargano and Dominic Dijakovic in the first triple threat matchup. But tonight, the other three of the duos will battle it out here on SmackDown for more WrestleMania momentum. 
Tommaso Ciampa with WrestleMania looming, his very first WrestleMania. It's going to be a huge night on Sunday for DIY. Who will they challenge? We'll find out on Saturday night. It could very well be this man and his tag team partner, also representing Monday Night Raw. The Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, is here on the blue brand. Big time three-way dance ahead of you here on SmackDown. And his opponents, first from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic got a bone to pick with DIY. They were the team that dethroned the Archer and the rare breed back at the Royal Rumble on January 1st for the World Tag Team titles. Priest and Dijakovic fighting their way just as Ali and Ricochet have through two rounds of the T Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic thus far. And now they will meet on Saturday night in the finals. But of course, more than just a Dusty Cup and the prestige of winning that tournament is on the line. But the number one contendership for DIY also hangs in the balance. Priest and Dijakovic held the gold from September the 10th at Judgment Day all the way till January 1st at the Royal Rumble. Can they do it again this weekend in Tampa Bay? But here comes the heart and soul of Friday Night SmackDown, Mustafa Ali. And from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali held the United States Championship for only nine days back in December, and ever since then, he's been trying to get back into a championship picture. Through the tag team with Ricochet and through the Dusty Classic, he now has that opportunity yet again. Ricochet and Ali defeating Imperium in the first round, Legato Del Fantasma in the second, and now they will represent Friday Night SmackDown on the biggest show of the year, with Monday Night Raw's Priest and Dijakovic opposing them on the other side of the ring. As we mentioned, Ali's tag team partner, Ricochet, went back to roll on Monday night and got the victory, pinning Dominic Dijakovic in the triple threat match. So now the other three men of those tag team duos set to do battle here on Friday Night SmackDown with momentum hanging in the balance ahead of this weekend's WrestleMania. Damian Priest, Mustafa Ali, and one half of the WWE World Tag Team Champions, Tommaso Ciampa. Here we go on Friday Night SmackDown from Long Island. And right off the bat, Ali, Tornado DDT to Priest. No waste in motion by Mustafa Ali coming out swinging tonight. Now the two Raw superstars, Damian Priest causing a collision right there. This is going to be chaos in this triple threat affair. Down goes Ciampa. Do not blink in this matchup. You got three awesome styles, three various styles inside of that ring. And of course, our guy from SmackDown, the heart and soul, Mustafa Ali, doing some damage, ruling his ring right now. And Priest able to break it up, but Ali with yet another Tornado DDT that time on Tommaso Ciampa. Who is going to walk away the winners of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic on Saturday night? And who is going to walk away the World Tag Team Champions on Sunday night? Tag Team Wrestling being showcased to its fullest potential over these last few months, especially in the Dusty Classic. And it will be on showcase again at the greatest stage of them all. Damian Priest out of the equation, at least for a moment. Now Tommaso Ciampa has got Mustafa Ali dazed and confused in the air, letting the blood rush to his head and brings him down with the suplex. And down goes Ali, leaving these two red brand superstars in the middle of the blue brand ring, at least for a moment. Not about brand supremacy necessarily, but you always want to see your guy pull out the victory. Also, Champa ruling the ring right now as he took out Ali and now is going after an old rival in Damian Priest. Damian Priest getting a couple blows on the black car, Tommaso Ciampa. A man, and Ali was going for a dive there. But I believe Priest had his attention to Tommaso Ciampa, and he brings him down with that choke slam. And it goes after Ali, but Ali was ready for him. South of heaven from Damian Priest. Tommaso Ciampa down and out, but Priest not able to capitalize. Now Ali going to the top rope. Here comes the heart and soul of SmackDown with a splash. Looks like Ali might have got the worst of it. 
Nonetheless, the matchup rolls on another moment. Oh, wait a minute here. Look at this. These two Raw superstars teaming up with a SmackDown superstar. It's every man for himself in this matchup, but a little bit of coexisting from Ciampa and Priest. Two guys who do not like each other, so that is very surprising to see. But you see the fight continues. They take Ali out of the equation, and Ciampa and Priest going at it inside the squirt circle yet again. Ali on the outside. Ciampa has got Priest stuck into that corner. Of course, Johnny Gargano. Dominic Dijakovic coming up short in that triple threat matchup on Raw. It was Ricochet who pulled out the win, so I'm sure Ciampa and Priest want to bring some good mojo to their tag teams ahead of WrestleMania. Mustafa Ali back inside of the ring, got his eyes set on Ciampa, sending him into the corner and follows it up with the axe hammer. Ali ain't done. Drop kick to the side of the dome. Now watch for Damian Priest, who's back to his feet. Meanwhile, Ali is focusing on one half of the world tag team champions. It's Tommaso Ciampa right now. Wait a minute, Priest caught Mustafa Ali from behind and a reckoning in the ring as Ciampa is on the outskirts into the cover. And Damian Priest steals the victory tonight on SmackDown. Ali took care of Ciampa. Unfortunately for him, had his back turned, and the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, able to capitalize the reckoning to Mustafa Ali and finds himself victorious tonight on SmackDown. Here is your winner, Damian Priest. It all comes down to WrestleMania this weekend. Well, let's take a look at the card ahead for Sunday night at WrestleMania. We will find out the winners of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic on Saturday night. But whether it's Priest and Dijakovic from Raw or Ricochet and Ali from SmackDown, that team will face DIY for the WWE World Tag Team Championship on Sunday night. Two of Friday Night SmackDown's All-Stars set for a first time ever meeting. The glorious one, Robert Roode called his shot and the franchise answered. John Cena meets Robert Roode one-on-one -on -one this Sunday at WrestleMania. And another SmackDown superstar wanted his name on the marquee and decided to throw out the open challenge. The Defiant, LA Knight will stand in the ring, but who will stand across from him in Tampa Bay? It is a major tag team grudge match from Monday Night Raw. The Kevin and Sammy show have run roughshod over the red brand, but the phenomenal AJ Styles and the rated R superstar have something to say about it. It's a grudge to be settled on Sunday night. The WWE Women's Championship will be on the line. The dominating and intimidating Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, puts the championship up against the number one contender, the man, Becky Lynch. What a collision coming your way, courtesy of SmackDown. For the first time ever, the United States Championship will be contested between the almighty Bobby Lashley and his number one contender, the Ring General, Walter. And in the main event of WrestleMania Sunday, a year in the making, the Royal Rumble match winner, Matt Riddle, the WWE Champion, Randy Orton, two former friends, Former members of RK Pro collide once and for all in no holds barred. WrestleMania weekend is going to be chaotic, and it comes your way Saturday night, February 25th, and Sunday night, February 26th. Double live premieres both taking place at 5 p.m. Eastern time, nowhere else but right here on the Nomination Gaming YouTube channel. But it is main event time on your final SmackDown before the show of shows. Jeff Hardy is in the house. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cameron, North Carolina. Weighing in at 225 pounds. Jeff Hardy! Things haven't been going the way of the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy as of late, especially dating back to prior to the Elimination Chamber, where he failed to qualify for said event and failed to get an opportunity at the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania. Jeff Hardy has recently met Bobby Lashley for the United States Championship as well, accepting his open challenge, came up short against the Almighty. 
And just two weeks ago here on SmackDown, Jeff Hardy coming up short to the glorious Robert Roode. So can the charismatic Enigma turn his momentum around ahead of Seth Rollins' match with Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania? It's a big opportunity for Jeff. He may figure that Seth Rollins' mind is already in Tampa Bay, that Seth Rollins is already focusing on the chosen one on Saturday night. If that is the case, expect this future Hall of Famer to capitalize over Seth freaking Rollins. But say his name and he shall appear. The visionary, the revolutionary, and most importantly, the world heavyweight champion. He's got McIntyre on Saturday night, but tonight in Long Island, he's got the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy, one on one. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the world heavyweight champion. We mentioned it earlier tonight when he ambushed Drew McIntyre and we'll say it again. Ever since he won that world title, Seth Rollins has been operating on a level that I don't know if anybody else can reach in WWE right now. He has successfully defended the gold over John Cena at the Royal Rumble, over Dolph Ziggler at the Elimination Chamber, and that's just counting the championship reigns. Rollins has been undefeated for months ever since joining Friday Night SmackDown back in the draft in November. Seth Rollins is certainly in the driver's seat and is certainly not the underdog going into his matchup with Drew McIntyre. Got to be the favorite to win. And you don't want to bet against McIntyre, but after the tumultuous 2022 and all the momentum Seth Rollins has gathered over the last few months, it's kind of hard to bet against the architect of World Wrestling Entertainment. But that is Saturday. We need to focus on right now. Seth Rollins, Jeff Hardy, one-on-one -on -one here on SmackDown. Long Island, New York has been rocking all night long for the final SmackDown before the show of shows. Jeff Hardy wants his tonight. Jeff Hardy wants his hand raised for the first time in a long time, and a win tonight could certainly put Jeff in line for a World Heavyweight Championship opportunity after WrestleMania. He's got Seth Rollins in the corner. Jeff Hardy going to the bag of tricks early. Vintage Jeff Hardy. We're gonna talk about a tumultuous 2022 for McIntyre, but Jeff Hardy, on the other hand, has just had a tumultuous couple of weeks here on the blue brand. I went tonight, could certainly erase a lot of the recent mistakes for Jeff Hardy inside of that ring, but Seth Rollins looking to have none of it. Rollins has gotta be the favorite tonight, just as he will be on Saturday night. Undefeated since joining SmackDown in the draft, as we mentioned, at a ripcord knee, maybe sending Jeff Hardy to the showers early, but don't count out the extreme enigma just yet. Jeff Hardy has held that very world championship before, back in 2009. He was the WWE champion back in 2008 as well. Jeff Hardy is a future Hall of Famer, no doubt about it, has had a decorated career. But the veteran of the ring, the extreme enigma, Jeff, ain't slowing down anytime soon. But look at Jeff Hardy delivering the X Factor to Rollins. What a win it could be for Jeff tonight to get momentum back on his side. And what a win for Jeff Hardy could do to affect the psyche of Seth Rollins heading into WrestleMania. Seth Rollins comes up short tonight. You may not be looking at the favorite in the visionary come Saturday. Jeff Hardy coming off the apron, throwing caution in the wind just as he has his entire career. Rollins having none of it though as he sends Jeff Hardy away at ringside. Seth Rollins now heads back to the outside. Jeff Hardy was there waiting for him. Rollins gonna avoid it. And a nice shot to Jeff Hardy. Goes for the kick, Hardy with the counter and hits Rollins with the kick. Earlier tonight we saw the number one contender for the world championship, Drew McIntyre, successful over The Miz. The story after the matchup, Seth Rollins laying waste to the number one contender, just as McIntyre did to Rollins a few weeks ago. But no more sneak attacks, it's gonna be mano a mano, bell to bell on Saturday night, and the big gold belts on the line. Friday night SmackDown in the main event, it is gonna be a huge night. And WrestleMania Saturday, just as it will be on WrestleMania Sunday. Epic stacked cards for both evenings. It's gonna be the biggest live premieres we have ever had here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it live. Don't stick around for the replay. You're gonna to wanna to be there at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday and Sunday night. You are not gonna to wanna to miss WrestleMania.
Owens trying to put away Jeff Hardy there. Jeff having none of it. Picks the leg of the world champion, and out comes Jeff Hardy. Jeff wants this win, and he wants it bad tonight. I'm sure Drew McIntyre would love to see Rollins go down ahead of WrestleMania. And Jeff, big time arm drag off the top rope to the World Heavyweight Champion. And Hardy heading where he's most comfortable. The top rope goes for the splash with a crash and burn as Rollins gets out of the way. Jeff going for a drop kick there. He just can't take the pedal off the metal, can Jeff Hardy? Seth Rollins coming in with a game plan, looking to execute it to perfection tonight. Jeff having none of it, pokes Rollins back on the top rope. Every habit in mind there, the world champion denies it. There's another counter by Jeff. Rollins cannot find an answer for Jeff Hardy right now. Jeff is all over the world heavyweight champion here on SmackDown. That takes down the world champion again. Jeff Hardy is rocking and rolling here on your final Friday Night SmackDown. We are live tonight from Long Island, New York. Just days ahead of this weekend's WrestleMania. And here comes Hardy with the overhead throw. Oh yeah, Jeff Hardy building some momentum. Long Island standing on their feet, appreciating the matchup that they have at hand. Your main event here on SmackDown. Hardy grabbing a hold of the World Heavyweight Champion. Rollins going to deny it. Remember just last week here on SmackDown, Seth Rollins and LA Knight teaming up in a successful tag team victory over Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler. LA Knight pinned the show off in that matchup, but just even more momentum on the side for the World Heavyweight Champion. Now Rollins finally gets a maneuver on Jeff Hardy. Not enough to keep him down. Or at least for a moment as the world champion goes for the knee and again Hardy avoids it. Jeff Hardy wants this win and he wants it bad tonight. Going for possibly the twist of fate but Seth Rollins able to avoid it. Now Rollins sneaking into his own playbook. Going for a falcon arrow but there's a counter by Jeff. Jeff was going for something there. Rollins avoided it. Rollins goes for the kick. Hardy counters again. Jeff Hardy has read the book of Seth Rollins over and over again. He did his, his homework coming into this matchup. Wait a minute, Rollins is in the corner and Jeff is dazed. You can do all the homework you want, but it may not be enough. Even if you have the questions, Rollins might change the answers. And Rollins taking out Jeff Hardy into the cover. Not enough as Jeff Hardy gets the shoulder up and the matchup rolls on. Jeff Hardy, who has been in the driver's seat for the majority of this matchup, not going down to Seth Rollins just yet. But Buster takes down the world champion. And it's a gurry by Hardy. What is it going to take to keep one of these men down tonight? Jeff Hardy more motivated than ever, it seems. And Seth Rollins not one to come up short ahead of WrestleMania. Meanwhile, Seth dumped over the top rope. Look out below! Jeff Hardy with a splash! Jeff Hardy throwing caution in the wind tonight. He wants this win, and he is willing to take any risk need be to get the victory over the World Heavyweight Champion. Hardy on the apron, Rollins to his feet, and here comes Hardy with the clothesline. Jeff Hardy said, if I'm going down, I'm going to go down swinging, but Jeff wants the victory. Oh, wait a minute, Springboard goes for the moonsault, but Rollins gets out of the way. Nobody home, and has Hardy taken too many risks in this matchup? Rollins allowing Jeff Hardy to crash and burn, and oh no, on a suplex at ringside, and down goes Hardy. And now Rollins gonna do a little bit of risk taking himself with the moonsault. Rollins has got a physical matchup right now ahead of his defense against McIntyre on Saturday night. Both men have been extremely active week after week on SmackDown, or either of them going in to Tampa Bay 100%. Nonetheless, Rollins gets back into the ring. Jeff Hardy looking to pick the leg. Here comes Hardy here, but Rollins snaps Jeff Hardy, and down he goes off the apron. But Hardy is still fighting, sending Rollins into the barricade. Another shot by the Messiah. Now the visionary of WWE has got Jeff Hardy in a fireman's carry position. What has he got in mind here? Oh no, eyeing up the barricade, ramming Jeff Hardy's spine first into that barrier. 
Jeff has got to be feeling all the risk he has taken in this matchup, successful or not, are going to take a toll on your flesh and wound. Referee had a count of five. Jeff has got to get back into the ring. Rollins better take his eye off the ball and put it back on Jeff Hardy. Hardy going for the drop kick. Rollins dodges it. Ripping at the eyes, ripping at the nose, ripping at the face paint of the Extreme Enigma. Jeff getting to his feet. Jeff goes for the kick. Seth Rollins, however, takes out the legs of Jeff Hardy here on SmackDown. Hardy is still fighting, though. Jeff Hardy has stepped up to the plate, and he is swinging with everything he's got, looking for a home run. But now it's Rollins in the driver's seat, and he's running the home plate off the curb stomp. And that's going to do it. Ain't nobody getting up from that. Jeff Hardy taking another loss tonight. But what an effort from the Extreme Enigma. Seth Rollins able to survive an onslaught from Jeff Hardy tonight. What an effort, but the world champion is your victor. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins. Well, Seth Rollins is walking away victorious. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to the final Friday Night SmackDown of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode and the final Friday Night SmackDown before this Saturday and Sunday's WrestleMania. We will see you on Saturday, February 25th, Sunday, February 26th, live premieres, 5 p.m. Eastern time on both nights for the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Thank you and good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.